As ISIS continues its genocide against Middle East Christians, reports of crucifixions are on the rise. But some religious leaders are wondering when the church in the West will step up and speak out about this historic persecution. From world leaders, to authors on the front lines, to Christian humanitarians, the alarm is going out over the plight of Christians in countries besieged by ISIS. Daesh is responsible for genocide against groups in areas under its control, including Yazidis, Christians, and Shia Muslims. We're hearing of more and more crucifixions. We're hearing of young boys being killed. We're witnessing a once in a 2000 year crisis. And it's not an exaggeration to say that we could see the elimination of Christianity in the place of its birth. Even though the church in the Middle East is suffering genocide, some say the church in the West could do more to stand with their fellow believers. Christian activist Johnny Moore has been working with big names such as Mark Burnett and Roma Downey to bring attention to this tragedy. We're blind again, just like we were blind at the Holocaust, just like we were blind at the Rwanda genocide, the Bosnian genocide, the Armenian genocide. We're not learning. But what's even more sort of shameful and despicable about this is we are the strongest religious community in the world as Christians. And the church isn't even speaking up in the way it could. Some believe the lack of action in the American church lies in the pulpit, not the pews. The pulpits in America have largely been silent on this issue of their fellow brethren around the world. Historian David Barton collaborated with pollster George Barna on a nationwide survey of Christian conservatives. They asked pastors and parishioners about 22 specific issues. Results showed parishioners put religious persecution as their number two area of special interest. 86% wanted more information on the issue. The same subject, however, didn't even register with their pastors as a topic to address with congregations. So you've got 86% of American Christians saying, we need to hear about this. We've got to be informed on it. And pastors saying, mm, don't think I want to talk about that. So there's this real dichotomy right now on persecution in American churches, at least addressing the subject. And certainly if you start addressing the subject, then you're more likely to do something about it. And that's really what, what Christians in the Middle East need is they need outside help. They can't, they can't save themselves. It's going to take outside help. People like this Christian woman need that help. As ISIS plowed across Iraq, she and her family fled their Christian village of Karakosh. Until now, we can't even imagine this happening to us. It's like a dream. Everything was so normal. Our life was so comfortable and suddenly everything changed. Changed by terrorists with a deadly goal. They don't want any Christians to live in Iraq. They want to kill them all or have them leave or become a Muslim. Tom Doyle, who has worked with the persecuted church for years, says the church needs to open their hearts and eyes. We need the pastors to speak up. This is your family. And I know what it's like to be a pastor because I did that for 20 years and so many times you're so consumed with the things within your four walls, but we're connected around the world. We are completely connected and this is family. They may worship a little different from us. They may look different. They may speak a different language, but they love Jesus with their whole heart. Ironically, the Jewish community is filling the void. It's sort of nonsensical, but history repeats itself. One of the great allies for the displaced and persecuted Christians in the Middle East presently is the Jewish community as the Jewish community sees a repetition of history. It was the Simon Wiesenthal Center, a center that specializes in the study of genocide, that first said it was genocide against Christians in the Middle East. I'm hearing this from Jewish rabbis who are saying, we appreciate the support, we appreciate your side in Israel. Guys, you gotta save Christians, you gotta stop this genocide. So it's amazing that Jews who have been through this and who get reminded of it, things like Yad Vashem and it's all around the country, they're saying, Americans, Christians, wake up. You got to save the Christians that are having the same Holocaust that we went through. And I find that powerful when it's being delivered by Jews who have been through it themselves. And they're now saying, Christians, wake up. It's your turn. We got to help these people the way we hope someone would help us. We have to pray for them the way we hope someone would pray for us. We have to give to them the way we hope someone would give to us. And we have to speak up for them the way we hope someone would speak up for us.